Greetings, my name is Jordan Mala and I'm here to help you get your life aligned. Today, I'm here with leading New York City natural food gourmet number one, my man Andrea. <laughs> Blessings Andrea, welcome. He's going to teach us how to grill kale. Because people are always like, what do I do with kale? Well, there's a million things you can do with kale, including grilling. I really don't know how, so we're going to ask the expert. Andrea. Cool. You want to start off with a really good hearty kale. They're as Jordan might know, that uh, there are many different types of kale. I'm choosing uh, one that's very hearty, like a curry kale. And it's the most common one too. Uh, and it's easy to grow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is we have a couple of simple ingredients. Uh, we have molten salt. You can use any type of salt. I like molten because it's my favorite it's as well. really good quality. <laughs> and the texture of the molten also when you put it on food just feels great in your hands. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. We got that, and so good sprinkle of that, and a good drizzle of good olive oil. Nice full body olive oil. Get that. And of course, the kale and all the ingredients we always try and use are organic because why would you want to eat food that's actually sprayed with cancer causing chemicals? Sorry. Anyway, I'm trying. <laughs> so, after you do that, you give it a good, a good mix so all the oil and salt gets well. And you don't have to use gloves if it's your own hair. You just gotta like get in there. The massage piece of it is important. <laughs> All right. Then we're gonna bring it to the barbecue. You bring the barbecue really hot, high heat. And after we come back, what you wanna have with you is some pine nuts, toasted preferably, and some uh, aged balsamic vinegar. It could be any balsamic. Uh, aged balsamic is a really good quality too. That's how we're gonna finish the salad. It's a warm kale salad. Let's go. Let's do it. And first we just take a moment to appreciate the gorgeous night. You know, that's the great thing about grilling is it gets you outside. Even though it's winter right now or it just turned to spring, we can be outside and truly enjoy the weather and the fire, even though it's a little brisk. All right, so he said we got the fire really hot. Once you get the fire really hot and the kale is nice and massaged, so you get the fire yeah. hot, the kale massaged. And you want these, to get these guys. Tongs. Right, otherwise it's gonna be hard. So now it's gonna make a big fire now, huh? <laughs> Because you have the oil and it's gonna be in the fire, but it's totally fine because it's gonna make the kale have this little smoky flavor to it. Children, do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we wanna just like, we don't wanna cook, cook it so much. We just wanna give it a nice little warm. So, how long about? I would say like a minute or two. A minute or two. Yeah, we just wanna give it really, we don't wanna kill it. We want to give it a really kind of soften it up a little bit, give it a little smokiness, and then put it back back in the bowl and serve it. That's all. Very simple enough. Fantastic. Andrea, thank you so much for grilling up Cal. Anytime. And, Anytime. Uh, and we'll see you again. And remember, 